those of us who live here along the Gulf Coast know that we live in a totally different part of the country from folks who live, you know, say in the Midwest or some of those inland areas. And there are lots of different hazards that we need to be aware of. You need to be aware of coastal storms that might come up, you know, during the, the summer and fall months. We are subject to tornadoes, just like folks in other parts of the country. But we also have like high wind events that are associated with hurricanes and tropical storms. Whether you're trying to protect from a tornado, a hurricane, or an afternoon thunderstorm, uh, there's two uh, good sayings, uh, run from the water and hide from the wind. And being prepared is probably the most important. Uh, to secure your property, we strongly recommend, of course, insurance. And then second, uh, how to reduce your exposure. Number one is having a good roof over your head, making sure that it's well maintained and is to the highest possible standards. Once the roof is secured, then you also want to protect your windows, which would mean anything from hurricane shutters to pr properly installed uh, plywood uh, paneling systems. Uh, there's a myth that putting tape on your windows will prevent uh, the glass from coming in. That is not uh, the case. You're better off having a solid uh, paneling system, uh, either engineered shutter, uh, but don't tape your windows. Uh, it is advisable that you remove any hazardous trees that could cause substantial structure and replace them with a species that is more tolerant to wind and less likely to cause damage to your home. We don't want to uh, cut all the trees down because they do help slow the winds down. We just want to make sure that the trees are not a danger to the structure and the, and the family. The other thing is garage doors. Uh, don't open those up or your doors during a storm. Uh, the pressure uh, can cause a chain reaction as well. It's very important that the consumer understand the the, their coverages, their limitations, and the fact that there will be deductibles that apply. You can go to uh, either smarthomeamerica.org or disastersafety.org.